Hello guys, welcoming you all in the another episode of Weekly Tech Updates. I am Amit and you are watching TechOmit. So without wasting any time, let's get started. The very first article news I am taking from Medical Futurist blog. In this, it's all about the Mars mission for establishment of colonies at that red planet that we will colonize Mars. But there is one question which would conquer you all Earth, and here I am giving the answer of that question, which is related to the several problems which could be solved by using the technology which is on the boom right now, known by the name of digital health. This is one of the most important point to be focused on and also to be improved to. That is, we are traveling to Mars will have serious health consequences also. So let's see the positive aspects which will help us to solve problems regarding this Mars mission cause the health safety should be a priority as astronauts cannot bring every medical resources with them and cannot cover every medical specialty they need devices which are small smart and comprehensive also due to the time delay between the spaceship and mission's control could reach between 4 and 24 minutes the amount of time needed for radio signals to reach the vehicles in space from earth and vice versa telemedicines are giving medical advice remotely is limited especially if astronauts have to deal with emergencies they need efficient instrument they really need efficient instruments for decision making on the pole besides medical challenges astronauts are also required to keep up with their tight schedule and extremely healthy lifestyle digital health technologies would also allow astronauts to access data about their vital Medical signs and health status predict whether any major medical conditions are imminent and participate in the shared decision making process about their care. It could support the prevention, diagnosis, interventions, and monitoring of health conditions and injuries of crew to avoid unnecessary risk and minimize others. It could involve them in their case. Astronauts themselves need to become the point of care. Digital health technologies could one should support astronauts. I argue that digital health technologies could help reduce the health risks and potential medical consequences related to human space flight to Mars by making astronauts a point of care. Moving towards the second tech news, which is about the DRG. That is dorsal root ganglion stimulator for chronic pain. About is releasing in the U.S. the proclaimed DRG neurostimulation system to fight chronic pain in patients with complex regional pain syndrome in their life. The product consists of an implantable neuromodulator that stimulates the dorsal root ganglion that is DRG and Apple iPad for programming the device and Apple iPod touch for the patient control of the system that is consisting of the iPod and Apple iPad in a recent clinical trial dorsal root ganglion stimulation has shown markedly better outcomes over spinal cord stimulation in many patients suffering from chronic pain and in lower extremities bluetooth wireless connectivity is used to Change the setting of the implant and to control how much stimulation it should administer. The software abroad the implant can also be updated wirelessly. Compared to abroad's first generation DRG neuron stimulator, the Axiom and new Proclaim DRG implant has a greater battery life, allowing it to be used continuously longer without replacement. By being MR conditional patient with the Proclaim DRG implant, can still receive MRI scans up to 1.5 Tesla as long as certain precautions are taken. which is one of the good news for us this is the good replacement for painkillers for a longer period of time still this technology is costly as well as not available readily everywhere apart from that we are waiting for the android version for this prototype but still it is good one i am putting the link in the description box if you want to look over this implant and article you can access it from there another tech news is about the swallowable civil sensor to detect so much movement from the same rock itself mit has given us a lot of things in the field of research and technology hereby again scientists at mit has developed a flexible sensor that patients can swallow the sensor sticks to the stomach wall 
and can relay information about stomach peristalsis. This could help doctor to diagnose disorders that slow down the movement of food through the gastrointestinal tract or monitor food intake in obese patients. The research team wanted a minimally invasive solution for monitoring stomach movements. Achieve this, they created a flexible device for increased safety because of sensor flexibility. It may can cause rolled up and squeezed into a small capsule which patient can swallow easily the capsule breakdowns in the stomach and the sensor adheres to the stomach a wall soon after it's been liberated the ring flexibility has the potential to impart significantly improved safety simply because it makes it easier to transit through the gi tract the sensor basically consists of electrical circuit printed on a flexible polymer the material is physioelectrical meaning that is in, can generate an electrical current and voltage which is mechanically deformed. It is so sensitive that movements of the stomach wall are enough to generate electricity in the material which tells the sensor that the stomach is moving. The sensor could help doctor to diagnose digestive disorders that reduce stomach motility. Another application involves monitoring the food intake of the obese patients having a window into what an individual is actually injecting at home is helpful because sometimes it's difficult for patients to really benchmark themselves and know how much is being consumed. Let's have a look towards next tech news that is tiny breathe acetone sensor to measure fat, fat burning during exercise help monitor diabetes. Those wishing to lose weight have to watch their diet but for optimal results they also have to burn existing fat in their bodies through exercise. Any amount of exercise simply won't do as body fat only burns when pressed to do so by specific physiological situations. Therefore, it would be a nice to know that once exercise is actually achieving the fat burning goals or not. It's been known for a while that when we burn big build up fat, the acetone in our breath increases in concentration. Additionally, acetone is also a biomarker that tracks closely with one's blood glucose level, making a potentially useful as a way to detect them and monitor diabetes. Measuring the level of acetone in one's breath is difficult though because of the high motion amount and other breath components comes along with confusing most sensors. Researchers at ETH Juris in Switzerland have now developed a tiny highly accurate acetone breath sensor that may soon serve as a core for fitness, wearable and diabetes diagnosis devices. The new sensor, about the size of a coin, is so selective it detects acetone exclusive for all other chemicals found in. Moreover, it detects individual molecules of acetone per 100 million parts of everything else and impressively level of accuracy. The technology was tested on volunteers riding a stationary bike equipped and with a breath sensor. It worked so well that the scientists were able to show that, contrary to what I previously believed some people being burning fat soon after starting to exercise. Previously, it was thought that everyone has to get moving to for a quiet while before the body has to get power to store fat. The next tech news is all about the highly stretchable and flexible fiber optic that measures tiny changes in our body movements which is very good news. The motion of our hand, fingers, feet and other parts of our body is pretty complicated. Our body are curvy and their shape vary significantly from one person to another. Uh, so accurately measuring the macrodynamics of the different body parts requires more than just accelerometers to them. There are pretty accurate electronic strain sensors in existence, but they have limitations such as being influenced by external electromagnetic fields. Engineers at the Tsinghua University in Beijing, China have now developed a way to use a specific optic fibers to detect minute change in the movement of various body parts. The advancement will hopefully help patients undergoing musculoskeletal rehabilitations, athletes improvements, their training techniques and everyone to play video games in an exciting new way. Though the approach is not entirely new as power optics are already widely used in major physical stains that buildings and bridges are subjected to. When a fiber optic is banned, the light passes through it is affected as well. An optical center can detect such changes and a computer is used to convert that data into a better understanding of the focus that after a bridge or building. The problem while uh, with uh, translating this technology is major human motion 
is that about uh, most fiber optics have uh, brittle glass or like plastic inside them while cracked and bent a few degrees. New fiber is based on a silicon core made of PDMS that polydimethyl silonexine, a soft polymer. The researchers developed their own method to melt it and form it into a thin and transparent fibers. The result is a fiber that can repeatedly stretch twice its size without losing its ability to transfer light and one from one end to another. Moreover, every time the fiber is relaxed after being stretched, it returns to its original length. More work to be done in a fully test fiber and to figure out how it to integrate it into useful fitness and medical devices. Uh, we are waiting for that. And from Tacomat, we are giving thumbs up to this fiber optic team. Go for it. Uh, the last tech news I'm taking it from the again this blog that is about EcoPixel LED surgeon C C T MRI and ultrasound sat in 3D. Oh my God, we are able to see now C T MRI and ultrasound in 3D scans. As we have covered, I have already covered one news in the, my first session about the 3D and 4D images of the ultrasound, but now C T and MRI scan. We'll also have the same thing. Let's see what's there in that uh, new in this thing. Since the invention of the X-ray machine in 1895, medical imaging technology has improved dramatically. But the visualization of those images has not changed enough to keep up. Even though CTs and MRIs capture 3D data, the consumption of that data physically is still almost entirely in 2D format. EcoPixel, a company based in Mountain View, California, hopes to bridge the gap. The company's technology uses a patient's CT MRIs or ultrasound scans to generate a holographic experience that can be manipulated, paired, and saved for later reference. By doing so, it allows medical terms to better understand clinical problems and to communicate more effectively. Basically, they are using holographic projection for that. That's a good thing. EcoPixel software platform to 3D runs on a specific hardware that consists of a monitor and a stylus and a pair of glasses, existing CT, MRIs and ultrasound images are loaded on the software and the software pieces. Together the images slice into the 3D replica of the patient's scan anatomy. The glasses allows physicians to see these patients specific body parts emitting from the display and the stylus can be put as a manipulation tool to take measurement slice through and visualize cross sections or even put in a virtual implantable device to compare sizing. Still the research is going on in that and EcoPixel are claiming that they will be just to launch these things very soon by using true 3D to generate true to size interactive patient specific anatomical structures within second EcoPixel allows physicians to collaborate and operate better. It's a good thing 3D imagining is there. They are claiming that doctors should looking almost in 2018 these images. Uh, they have to wait for one more year. Let's see what's going on there in my mind and have a look towards that. So that's all about tech reviews for this week. I have given the links of the all articles in the description box and I have tried to cover whole article. If you like the video, hit that like button and share this video with every biomedical engineer and health persons. So this is Amit Mohan Raman signing out. Jai